All right, welcome back. So I'm down here on our creek, about 10 miles down in the Kendrick area and doing a little bit of shed hunting. And we found our second deadhead right over here. Not a shed, but it's a deadhead. It's a start. Oh, so let's see if we can't see what we got here. Oh, it's only part of a deadhead. Oh. Darn it. Well, we'll keep looking. But it's a decent sign, at least we're finding bone. So here's so here's a dead head that we found earlier. Lots of rubs in the area. But there's a rub right up there. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. I'll take her up there. But I need your food, buddy. Hey. Eat your food and relax for a second. Take a break. Let my son take a break. Um, here's this more rubs, more bedding area through here. Lots of beds. Lots of beds and lots of rubs. Oh, here's a rub. There's another rub right over there. So hopefully we'll find something here, but uh, you know, we're following this drainage and walking up along up top. That's where we were. We walked all the way back down into Kendrick. It's like another mile back that way, but uh, yeah, hopefully we find something. Stay tuned. Just walking along here looking. It's getting better. It looks a lot better. I'm finding more beds the further we go back in here. Jesus helping with my energy. Well, I told you you needed some. <clears throat> Careful. I have to jump. Okay. Get off the tree. That just knocked out. See, there's... Deer like this stuff. Good cover. Yeah. Plus it gives you fat. So I found something interesting. Just a little off topic, but look at this old car. How come a car would be here? Oh, number of reasons, Otto. Number of reasons. I wonder what it is. Oh wow, that's so neat. <laughs> Hudson, oh my gosh, it's a Hudson. Wow, that is incredible. Wow. It's destroyed all right. Yeah it is, but that's a Hudson. Washington plates. Huh. Interesting. This might be a World War II Jeep. <laughs> it's an old car, that's for sure. Well, we're finding lots of beds and scrapes, just no horns yet. There's another scrape. More beds. There's beds all the way through here. A lot of fruit trees in the back. Might come across an apple tree up here again. There's quite a few down here. Well, at least we're having a good day. 
Yeah, we're having a good day. Except when I got that leg broken. Yeah, well, you didn't break your leg. You just slipped. <laughs> yeah. I was Clearly, you didn't break your leg. <laughs> that thing likes to get deeper and deeper. <laughs> you want to keep looking for shreds, though, bud. It's your deer poop. Deer been laying up in here. No horns yet. Kind of. Where'd you find it, Otto? Show us where you found it. Right there? Okay. There's our second dead head. No, it's got a couple of teeth left in it, but yeah, we'll throw it in the pack with the other one. Well, we hiked our butts off. We we're down back there in the bottom. Now we're up here on this ridge and finding lots of, lots of nice big buck tracks and scrapes, but unfortunately not a shed yet, but we have found, found a small a herd of deer on the other side grazing on the feet on the side of the hills on the ridge and uh i jumped one doe on this side and found some big buck tracks we chased up here on this knoll and, and well lots of sign just no horns keep looking but i really love this spot i'm definitely going to come back here and look again in another week or two i think there's going to be quite a few sheds laying around Pretty neat. Found this old orchard up here. That's why I'm finding lots of sign, but not a horn, but still really cool to find all these orchard trees out here. Out in the middle, sorry, I got clipped by a branch there. Out in the middle of the mountains like this is pretty neat. Lots of orchard trees and whatnot. Not sure what kind, probably, probably apple, but still pretty neat. So we're hiking here. And look what we just stumbled upon. That's a deer, but it's not an, it's not a. Uh, a dead deer? Yeah, it's a dead deer. Ooh, it it. Look at those deer across the way. If only we were over there. Big yeah, he's way over there. So you can see where they're running up and down the draw. There's probably a horn or two in there, maybe. All right, time to head back down and back out the canyon. Let you guys know when we get this truck. All right, guys, so we're back at the ranch. Um, I didn't film at the pickup just because we're in a little bit of a rush, but uh, I'll show you what we did pick up on our hike. It was a great hike. Found a lot of great spots for elk sheds. A little early yet for the sheds, uh, for elk sheds. Granted, we might get lucky and find one, but we didn't today. Um, that's okay though, we had a wonderful hike. It was beautiful country and uh, we did find a few skulls anyways, which was neat. And So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I am going to be doing more shed hunting videos and well, obviously I will find some sheds, <laughs> but uh, just a little bit early in the year yet, that's okay. I'm still kind of learning this country. I, I haven't ever shed hunted up here, so it's uh, it's all new for me, and I'm just finding these new spots. So hang in there. Bear with me. Um, if you guys like the content, please let me know. Like, leave a comment. Uh, and if you want to see more videos, of course, please leave a like that um, is involved with shed hunting. But here's what we found for the day. This one's pretty fresh. But, uh, yeah, uh, this one's got the top teeth in it still this one was the best one we found it's still got a toll line i have no idea if these are even worth anything or not we have a moscow fur and hide here i was gonna go do a little bit of research look around on etsy and do some you know boil these skulls out clean them up if they're worth some money and 